बोले वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय सियावर राम चंद्र की जय बोले गणेश भगवान की जय प्रथम सदगुरु वंदे श्री कृष्ण तदनंतर गुरु पापात्म श्री कृष्ण स्वमलात्म कर्णयो कर्णिकार विभ्रतवास कनक कपिश वै जयती रंध्रेणु रथद सुधया पूरय गोपवृंद वृंदारण्यम स्वपद रमन प्रावशकी ओ गणनाथवा गणपति भंग हवाम प्रियनाथवा प्रियपति भंग हवाम निधिना निधिपति भंग हवाम बसो मम अहम जानी गर्भद आत्म जासी गर्भद ओम भगवतुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटि समप्रभा निर्भिघ्न कुल मे देव सर्वकारेश गणपत नम ओम गंगनपत नम ओम गंगनपत नम नम कमलना नम कमल नम कमल नमस्ते कमले क्षण यो ब्रह्मानं विदाति पूर्व यो वैरिदाष्ट प्रहिलोति तस्म तघुन हरिवत्म बुद्धि प्रकाश मुमुक्षुरवै शरणम प्रपद्ये बोले गजानंद स्वामी की जय वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय रामचंद्र की आदरणीय पंत जी प्रिय भक्त समुदाय महानुभाव रिवर पंत जी पंत सुरेश सिंह There is a vote is the supreme law the divine souls for said this radhe radhe to each and every one and my pranam my humblest prostrations to all of you and happy ganesh chaturthi today we are again west of seva samaj sang celebrated ganesh chaturthi आदि देव we'll hear a bit of that more in some talk spiritual talk but first let us glorify the lord
जय गणेश लंबोदर आदि पूज देवा माता है Sacrificial worship to God. In the age of Dwapa, through puja, ritualistic worship to God, is easily attained. In this age of Dilip, which is called Kandu, just by chanting the divine name. As a matter of fact, we are told we can do nothing except chant the name. Kali Yuga Yoga Na Jagya Jnana Kandu Sundiji. Sinan Kandu Kandu. To the grace of Bhagwan Shri Ram. And the Kalyu Mahima is saying to Garuji, in this age of Kalyu, one cannot do yoga. Ashtanga. Yoga doesn't mean yoga, that's physical exercise. Yam, Niyam, Asan, Pranayam, Pratyaha, Dharana, Dhyan, Samadhi, that's yoga. One is Asan, what we call yoga today is yoga asana. This physical exercise. Let's keep the body healthy, it's okay. But it's not yoga. Yoga is impossible. The first thing, yam, yam, Complete control over the mind. Then ask. You can't do Kali Yoga, Yoga, Najaki. Dharma, yam, you can't do in Kali. Kaku Sundi say, not me. We read Ramayana, we love Ramayana, we say, Jai Shri Ram. Don't you believe what the scripture is saying? Kali Yoga Yoga Na Jantya Gyana Kanu Gyana So kya kare? What to do? Ek Aadhar Ram One thing, just chant the name of the Lord That's all we can do in this Kali Yoga But we don't want to chant Ab dekho, mai kya bol ra? What am I saying? Jai Ganesh, you all know that Lambodar is the name One with a big stomach, Lambodar Adi Pooja Deva One who is worshipped before Adi Pooja Deva Mata hai Parvati, Mother is Parvati. Durga, or Pita hai Mahadev. Shankarji, that's not hard to say. Very simple. These are all praising the Lord. So let's try and be better. Come on, okay? Jai Ganesha Lambodar Adi Purja Deva
सचिदानंद स्वामी की वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की सियावर राम चंद्र की अब सावधान होके तो सुन लीजिए Just try to be attentive now, very attentive, and listen carefully. There are many <coughs> kathas surrounding the appearance of Ganeshi. God, Ganeshi is speaking again, but from you, time to time, in every you, he appears. And there are many incidents. Most are familiar with the Shiv Purana. Once Shankar Bhagwan was fighting with the Devatas, Ma Parvati was going to take a bath, and so she took the mail from her body. We should not think that she is taking dirt like our body. Huh? This is God is divine, body is divine. चिदानंदमय देह तुम्हारी विगत विकार जानी अधिकारी तुसराज महाराज से इन द रामायण दिस इज गॉड इज डिवाइन हिज दे हिज बॉडी इज आल्सो चिदानंदमय डिवाइन So Ma Parvati, her body, her body is divine. This is his lila. Whatever comes from her body is divine. Is only a lila, and she created a boy <coughs> to God. And Shivji came. The boy would not give entrance. Eventually, Shivji took off his head. Ma Parvati, seeing this, became very disconsolate. She became unconscious actually to start with. Then she got very angry. And then Shivji. Brought the head of an elephant, joined it. This katha, you know. I want to give a different katha. Miss some of you may know, some may not. This katha is in the Brahma Vaivar Purana. There are many Puran, eighteen Puran. One is the Brahma Vaivar Purana, very important Puran. In this katha, one Shivji Parvati Sari. Ma Parvati said to Shiv Bhagwan that she wanted to have a son, Putra. To Shiv Ji himself being the devotee of Bhagwan Krishna, the Bhagwan says, "Vaishnavana yatha shambhu." Amongst the devotees of Shri Krishna, Shiv Ji is the greatest, topmost. We should never call Shivji demigod. Shivji, Shri Krishna himself, Ram worship Shiv, Shiv worship Ram. This is a leela. To call any form of god demigod is a big, big name of pride. The scriptures once. Shri Krishna himself became two. Two bhagwan. One became Shiv, and one remained as Shri Krishna. Anyhow, so being the greatest devotee of Shri Krishna, Shankar Bhagwan advised Parvati, Ma Parvati, to worship Shri Krishna, to do fast, brahmat. So Parvati, Ma Parvati worship Shri Krishna for a long time. I'm just giving the gist of the katha. We'll be able to go in great detail. Bahu Din Se, for a long time she worship. Eventually, Bhagwan Krishna appeared before Parvati, Ma Parvati. और कहा बरम रूही इंसेक्ट मां पार्वती हे मदर पार्वती आई एम प्लीज विथ योर डिवोशन 
शांति भक्ति से प्रसन्न हो बहुत प्रसन्न हो वेरी प्लीज आक्स मी फॉर अ बुक जो चाहे पॉवर्टी सेल लुक इन अदर लॉ आई वांट टू हैव अ सन बिकॉज़ सी द लॉ सो ब्यूटीफुल अनंत सौंदर्य हाउ ब्यूटीफुल इज श्री कृष्ण द मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल पर्सन in the material world someone known as kamde the god of love to describe how beautiful shri krishna is the scriptures and the saints they say shri krishna is more beautiful than the beauty of uncountable kamde is combined to so see this beautiful lord in front of her ma parvati said prabhu aapke samaan kuch to chahta chahta i want to have a son like you भगवान ने कहा मेरे समान और कोई है तो मैं ही पुत्र बना आपके पुत्र बन के आऊंगा और हर युग में आपका पुत्र बन के आऊंगा सिर्फ इस युग में नहीं तो श्री कृष्ण और पार्वती मां पार्वती से तो श्री कृष्ण आई वॉन्ट टू हैव सन लाइक यू श्री कृष्ण से जय नॉन लाइक मी so i myself will become as calm as your son and not only in this you every you in every you satyam in the satyam in the chapter the the age this creation goes in four ages four yugas first there is satyam or kritiyu then comes tetayu then dwaparyu then this age we live in kali so in every sat I will come as your son. He burned down, and he left, vanished. Parvati and Shri Bahad Prasad Ho. Now we are waiting for the Bhagwan to come. Shri and Parvati became very, very happy at this, and they are just waiting now. Of God, but God, when He will come as my child, once on Mount Kailash, she will part with you in union. Suddenly, someone came knocking at the door. They got up and went, opened the door, and they saw a Brahman, very famish, old Brahman. Looking very hungry, very frail, and very skinny, has been for a long time. बहुत दिन से नहीं खाया कुछ. अगर माँ भूख लग रही हो, तो ब्राह्मण से माँ पार्वती, माँ, O mother, I am extremely hurt, hungry. I desire this kind of food. I say, इसे खाना. I want this kind of food. So Shiv and Parvati hear this the appeal of the Brahman. They decide to go and prepare the food. They prepare the food, and when they came, the Brahman vanished from their left. Our Bahu Guru, Guruji, they both became very sad that they were not able to fulfill the desire of this Brahman. In that sad state, in But star in their heart, they repented. Suddenly, a voice came from the sky. Hey, Parvati, hey, Shiv. Who Brahman, Shri Krishna, he was. How could he not be? Shri Krishna, he was. Now go. You are in the inner house. Go. Look. Your son is here. Your son is here. So while they were very sad and repentant in their heart, they were not able to fulfill the desire of this Brahman. A voice came from the sky. O Parvati, hey Shiv, that Brahman was no other than Shri Krishna himself. He came to bless you. Now go into the inner room of your home, the inner bedroom. Your child has already come. He's waiting for you. Don't doubt him. Both of them ran. 
and as they appeared, they saw this most beautiful child. Sri Krishna himself had become the child. Absuno, when he is so beautiful, uncountable Kandes cannot match his beauty. Imagine how beautiful the child is. The Lord himself had become the child. About Ushoge Parvati. A Sabi Devata to Bulaya, Sabi Bhagwan to Bulaya, Mariputra Kadarshan Kadu. Parvati became very happy. Started to celebrate the Soshi Sanit. She invited all the gods, all the Devatas <coughs> to come and have Darshan of her child, the divine child. She's so happy, she's given gifts to everyone. To come and have darshan of this wonderful child. At that time, Shanishya, Shani Dev, the son of Surya Bhagavan, Surya Narayan Swami, Surya Bhagavan, his son is Shani Dev, Shanishya. He also came. Lekin niche, sit niche karke, kisi ko dekhte nahi. He came but he kept his head down. Not looking at anyone or anywhere. Everyone is half in darshan. And this Shani Dev is not looking at her child. Parvati got very angry. Ma Parvati. Hey, Shani. Yeah. How are you? Oh, Shani. What kind of nata? What kind of acting is this? Everyone is half in darshan. Of my child, and you're looking down, you're not even looking. Shani ne kuch nahi bola. Shani didn't say anything. Parvati ne kaha, Main shrap do. I'm going to give shrap to you if you don't. Look at my child. Ab dal gaya. Shani became very fearful. He said, Ma, sab ke apne apne karm ko bhogna hai. Ma, everyone has to enjoy the fruits of the action. This is important. The scriptures tell us, Avashya neva bhuktavya kitam karma shubha shubha. We have to bear the fruits of our good action as well as bad actions. No one can change that. We have the right to perform action. Sri Krishna tells us in Gita. Karma neva dhikaraste ma phale shukadachan ma karma phala hetu bhur mate sangustu karma ni. Chapter 2 verse 47 Gita. Sri Krishna says, I give you the right to perform action. Karma karma ka adhikar sabku dhikar. I gave you the right to perform action. But, I don't give you the right to determine the fruit, to choose the fruit. Why? Bhagavan says, I deserve that right. I will determine the fruit. Why? Well, if Bhagavan were to give us the right to determine the fruit, we'll do everything wrong and say, I want good fruit. Bhagavan says, you do good action, you will get good fruit. You do bad action, you get bad. <coughs> I will determine that. I will give the fruit. So the actions we have performed, out of the free will, Purva Janma Kitam Karma, Tad Devamiti Kathete Hitu Parish. The scripture says, the actions you perform out of the free will that God has given to us in any lifetime, in the next lifetime, that becomes bhagya, destiny, predestination. In one lifetime, it is called purusharth, the freedom to perform action, actions that bear fruits, and only human beings can do purusharth. 
the actions we perform bears fruits. No other form. That's why devutas are also praying and begging for this human body. Bhagwan Shri Ram says in the Ramayana, we we'll do chow five. Agni, the god of fire. Indra, the king of heaven, the god of rain. Vayu, the god of wind. Is a devotee. They are praying and begging for birth in this human form and they can't get it. Because they can't do bhakti. Their actions do not bear fruits. Only in this human body we can do bhakti, that which pleases the Lord. The only thing. So the actions we perform bears fruits. So in one lifetime it is called Purusharth, in the next lifetime it is called Bhagya, destiny. We are the maker of our destiny. Don't blame anyone. We can't blame anyone. We don't like to obtain blame for our own that I get something and I have to get the fruit. The law is very, very direct. Anyhow, and no one can change that. Naraji, that great saint, the saint in the Ramayana, Doha. saying to Himalay, the father of Parvati, ki he Himalay, listen. Jo vidhi likha lila. Vidhi means Brahma, the creator. Who writes our destiny? Brahma. Where does he write? On the forehead. Lila, lala, bhal. And where does he get from the past life, the actions we perform? According to that, Brahma writes our destiny. To Deva Danuja Naranaga Muni. No Devata, no celestial god, no Rakshas, no man, no Nar, no Rishi Muni, no one can change. This is very clearly written in the scriptures. So, <coughs> Shani Dev is saying, Ma, 
He's explained to Parvati. अपना कथा सुना सुनी. Shani was a very great devotee of Sri Krishna. Very great devotee. बड़े भावते भगवान कृष्ण. And once he was in deep meditation, dhyan on Sri Krishna, and his wife came with the desire for union. The Shani gave, didn't he hear? He was in such deep meditation, dhyan, that he didn't hear what she, she was saying. So this made his wife very angry. And she said, Shani, you won't even look at me at this time. I'll give you a shrap. A curse that whoever you look at, that person, that thing or person will be destroyed. This soul, this vidana, uska sarvanash ko. To ma, Parvati, is li in my aapka putthaka darshan nahi kar sakta. That's why I'm not able to look at your son. Parvati says, Jo ho na hai to, whatever has to be, has to be. It's divine. I don't care what you say. Look at my son. Ma Parvati became very upset that you have to look or I'll give a shrap. Now Shani is thinking, if I look, it's a problem. If I don't look, it's still a problem. Ab kya karu, what to do? So Shani Dev looked at the divine child. The moment he looked, what happened? The head flew off from that Devi and went to Golo. The abode of Shiratha Krishna is called Golo, the highest divine. It flew to and fell in the lap of Bhagwan Krishna and became his him, his Shri Krishna himself. It became, it merged into Shri Krishna. Seeing that Parvati fell on one punches, everyone started to shout. Ab kya hoga? Ab kya hoga? What to do? Vishnu Bhagwan came on his on Garuji. Vishnu Bhagwan Sri Krishna himself came on Garu, went in a northern direction, and there was an elephant sleeping with a head towards the northern direction. And this is why in Sanatan Dharma, a lot of times you will told, you'll be told, put your head in any direction, but don't put your head in the northern direction. Anyhow, seeing that elephant sleeping with the head in the northern direction, he took off the head, brought it and joined it onto that baby. And he got the name Gajanan, one with the head. Of an elephant. Bulgadananda Swami Ki! <laughs> Parvati is very happy. But she been angry with, with Shani. She gave us, still give a shrap to him because that you will be lame. Pamande Shani walks with a lip. Langara. The point of this katha. This is why people wonder why Ganeshi is Adi Dev. <coughs> why even Shiva and Parvati? He's the mother and father. This is the mother and father of Ganesh. And they also worship Ganesh. Nobody is worshiping their child. But Shiva and Parvati is worshiping Ganesh. The reason being that he is the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna himself. That's why he is Adi Puja. And as I told you, the greatest devotee of Shivji is Shri Krishna. Vaishnavalam Yatha Shambhu. And this is why even Parvati and Shiv worships Ganesh. So Ganesh is not a Devuta, not just a celestial God being, but he is the Supreme Lord himself. <laughs> it is said in the scriptures. One may, be, one may be able to count every single grain of sand on the earth, but they will not be able to count the glories of Ganesh Bhagwan. Sri Ganesh. 
And so this, this is important. He's a Viganeshwa, he's the one who removes the obstacles from the, from the devotees. Vignaharat, Viganeshwa. He gives divine knowledge. He makes everything. Whenever one is entering a home, new home, business, etc., Ganesh is worshipped. So, <coughs> this is a very wonderful location. And you can benefit so much. And this is why it's so important. We do one of the gem. Again, I'll tell you this a little bit of Sanskrit. But if you follow, it's easy. Ganapateye Namaha. Right? We said Ganapateye Namaha. I bow to Ganapati. Ganapateye Namaha. Ganapateye Namaha. Priya Pateye Namaha. This is a mantra. Gananatam Ganapati Gonghavame Priya Nam Pa Priya Pati Gonghavame Nidhi Nam Pa Nidhi Pati Gonghavame So from this mantra, this bhajan is here. So Ganapati Ye Namaha Ganapati Ye Namaha Priya Pati Ye Namaha Priya Pati Ye Namaha Nidhi Pati Ye Namaha Ganapati Ye Namaha twice Ganapati Ye Namaha Ganapati Ye Namaha See after me Ganapateye Namaha Ganapateye Namaha Priyapateye Namaha Nidhipateye Namaha Dedo Dedo means give Dedo Divya Prem Divya Prem Divine Love Dedo Divya Prem Damoda Ganapateye Namaha Ganapateye Namaha Ganapati Lambo Dad Ganapati Lambo Dad That is a letter on the first slide here. So Ganapateye Namaha Ganapateye Namaha Ganapati Lambo Dad Divya Dedo Divya Prema Dahoda We'll sing this bhajan. Ganapateye Namaha Ganapateye Namaha Priyapateye
The head of the child was taken out and went all the way back to Golok 
and an elephant had was joined, how could he be alive? To begin with, this is a divine child, is Bhagwan himself. Secondly, no one dies. Even we, the Jivatma, the Indipujas, with your soul, doesn't die. Bhagwan Krishna in Gita, he says, Na jayate mriyate va kadachinayam bhutva bhavita va na bhuya ajo nitya shashvato yam purano na hanyate hanyamane sharire. Chapter 2 verse 20 Gita. This body belongs to us. Why do we lament if someone has died? Why do we suffer? Because we identify with the body. Jasa Dhrumbitu Dhrum Janmamitasya Cha Chapter 2 verse 27 Gita That which takes birth must die and that which die must take birth. This body takes birth. So body dies. This body is made of five elements. Earth, water, fire, air and space. Kshiti Jala Pavak Gagana Samira Panchara Chitta Yaha Adhama Sarira Kshiti means earth, dirt, jal, water, power, fire, gagan, sky or space, samira, wind, earth, water, fire, air, space. Panchara Chitta, five things is body. Dirty body, very dirty. Adhama Sarira. But it's very bad. So body takes it. <laughs> body belongs to us. We're not body. What are we? We are the soul Atma. And Sri Krishna is saying the soul Atma never takes birth nor does it die. Nor have it come into existence. Does it cease to be? Because it is all born eternal and most ancient. It is not destroyed even when the body is destroyed. Nainam chintanti shastrani, nainam dahati pavakaha, na chainam kleda yantyapu, na shosheti marutaha, ache dyo yamadahyo ya, makle dyo shoshage vacha, nitya sargasthana chalo yam sanatana. Chapter 2, verse 23 and 24, Gita. This soul, Atma, is indestructible. Indestructible. It cannot be caught by any weapon, no shastra. Power, fire cannot burn it. Apaha, water cannot wet it. Marut, the wind cannot dry it. It is Sanatana, it is the same forever. Indestructible. Ah, we have to keep rotating. The Ramayan. Ram, Siya Ram, Siya Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Shri Ram is saying to the residents of Ayodhya, the Jivatma, the individual soul who we are, is Avinashi, indestructible, eternal beginnings. But it keeps rotating 
in 8.4 million forms of life according to auction. We change clothes. Sri Krishna says, Vasansi jivnani yatha vihaya Navani grihnati naruparani Tatha sharirani vihaya jivna Nanyani sanyati navani dehi Chapter 2 verse 22 Gita Just as a person takes out clothes that he's worn and discards them and puts on others that are new in the same way the embodied soul discards bodies and takes on new one. We change clothes, that's all. 8.4 million times. You lose one, you get better. But because of our ignorance, <coughs> we don't know. We don't know who we are. And because of that, we attachment. And because of attachment, we suffer. The more attachment, the more pain, the more suffering. If the knowledge is there, that the soul, I am the soul, Atma. And we come for a certain time, remember, no one can change that. Ayum karma cha vittam cha vidya nidhana meva cha Panchaitani siddhyadri garbas tasyaiva dehina Five things we can't change. Ayum, duration of life. How long we live for? God, what kind of interest we'll have? Naturally, someone wants to be a doctor. Naturally, one wants to be an engineer. Naturally, one wants to be a teacher. Naturally, one wants to be a garbage man. Naturally, one wants to be a loafer. Naturally. It's <coughs> from the past life. Wait, how much wealth will come easily? Ah, I give dawn, charity. Then you will get, you don't ever give, what are you going to get from it? You don't want to give charity, dan. That's how we get out. The punishment for not giving dan is very big. One will have to go to hell, etc. Because we never give dan, it's a big sin. It's a debt we owe to Bhagwan, and because we never give, when you get human birth, the punishment, darit dita, we born very poor. You can't blame anyone. Vit, Vidya, how much knowledge will come easily? Nidhana meva cha. The moment we'll die and how we will die is determined the moment the child is conceived in the womb of the mother. Nobody can change that. No one can change. So we keep changing the clothes. And something very important. Yam yam vapis maram bhavam tejat kente kalivaram Tam tamay vaiti kaumti sadatat bhava bhavita Ah, chapter 8 verse 6 Gita When the life leaves the body, tajat chante kalevaram We say someone has died When you think somebody has died, you didn't die yet When the life leaves, actually leaves the body Whatever you remember In the Gita it does not talk about say, it says remember Smaran! Get a dictionary and look for the meaning of the word smaran. Means remember. Yam yam bapi smaram bhava. Whatever you remember at that time. That's where you're going to go, what you're going to become. Actually, people say, if you take God's name and you die, that's why you're doing all the job and all that. But yeah, before you die, you're going to become unconscious. The pain is so much, especially those who are touched. The more attachment we have, the more pain. You become unconscious. When you are unconscious, you can't speak. Father should take any name. If anybody can take God's name as saint only. One who's beyond Maya. So smaran. Whatever remember at that time. That's what you're going to go, what you're going to become. Most of you remember the one, someone we attach, and that's why we keep rotating in the 8.4 million form. You attach to your father, you love your father to death. The father perform action, such action. Next lifetime he's born as a dog, you'll be born as a puppy. <clears throat> you're going right there. Don't feel bad. Sometimes you don't, nice, you don't like to hear these things, but this is the truth. And if we attach to Bhagavan, remember, what you're going to remember that time? 
what you love, what we are attached to. Don't think you're going to remember Bhagwan if you're never attached to Bhagwan, you don't love Bhagwan. Where you attach what you love, that was you're going to remember. And that's why in the verse before Sri Krishna says, Antakali chamami vasmaran muktva kalivara Yaha prayati samadha yati nastat yati nastat ka sanshaya Chapter 8 verse 5 Gita At the last moment when the life leaves the body, Antakali Antakali chamami vasmaran muktva You remember me alone, Mama Ev, me alone You remember me alone, God is saying Mahavir, then you will certainly come to me, Arjun. There's no doubt about this. Whether you take the name or don't take the name, you remember me? Kabir said, I will not take the name of the Lord. See if you will send me to hell. <coughs> because I remember the Lord every moment. I remember him because I'm attached to him, I love him. Ome te kaksharam brahma vyaharam maman usmanam Ya prati te jandeham sayati paramam gatim Chapter 8 verse 15 So many places Again the word comes smaran 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 When the life leaves the body Chajat jande kalena Ya prati te jandeham te jandeham When the life is leaving the body If you remember the law at that time Sagatim, Paramam Gatim, you will attain the highest attainment. In other words, you will go to Bhagwan. Very clear. So how are we going to remember God? So in the next verse, you see chapter 8 is very important. The next verse he says, Ananya Chetaha, Ananya Chetaha Satata, Yomam Smarati Nityashaha, Tasyam Sulabha Partha, Nitya Yuktasya Yoginaha Chapter 8 verse 14 Gita Ananya Cheta One who is thinking about me all the time Has me in their heart, in their mind Exclusively, Ananya means Exclusively The word Anya means all others And in Sanskrit when we put the prefix An before a word It gives the opposite meaning Ananya, Ananya Cheta in the mind, the tape, the mind. The mind. When I'm always in the mind exclusively. <laughs> satatam, every moment. Satatam means all the time, every moment. Yoma smarati, again the word smarati. Nitya shaha, one who remembers me all the time. Nitya, this verse, the word nitya comes three times. Three times in one verse. Yomam smarati nitya shaha Tasyam sulabha partha Nitya yukta, again nitya yukta sifrat bhakti The word yogi here means bhakti yogi, bhakti A devotee who is always thinking about me, whose heart is attached to me All the time, I am easily attained Tasyam sulabha, sulabha means easy I am easily attained for such a person. Because I am always thinking about him. In that moment when the life is leaving, who am I going to think about? Krishna. Because I love him. I am not thinking about anyone or anything. This is very important. That's why we have to practice to think about the Lord, to attach our heart, our mind to him. The whole Gita, the essence of the Gita, again chapter 8, Sri Krishna says, Tasma Sarveshu Kaleshu Mamanusmara Yudhacha Chapter 8 verse 7 Gita. Tasma Sarveshu at all places. Sarveshu at all places, no matter where you are, in the toilet, in the rock shop, in the road, in the mandir, everywhere. Tasma Sarveshu Kaleshu at all time. Mamanusmara Arjun, keep me in your heart. Remember me, keep me in your heart. Oh, you catch up. 
Your Kshatri, do your duty, fight the law. Perform your duty in the world. You see, people say Gita is only for sannyasi. People who have renounced the world, if you read Gita, you're going to renounce. No, no. Gita is for householders. It's telling us, it's teaching us. Sri Krishna is teaching us how to live in the world. That while living in this world, remember the Lord. Ram Krishna Paramahansa, the great saint, saint said, Let a man live in the world, but let not the world live in a man. Let a boat rest in the water, but let not the water come inside the boat. We have to learn how to live in this world. Don't they complain? Oh, this place is so bad, and this one is so bad, and that one I can't think about Bhagavan. You heard about a guy called Vibhisha? Many of you know Ramai. Huh? Hanumanji asks Vibhishan, how do you live here, Bhaiya? No one can take God's name in Lanka. And you're such a great devotee, the first thing you get up, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram. Vibhishan said, I live like the tongue between the teeth. How many times the tongue gets caught in the teeth? You don't have to do it if this happens. I, that's how I live. We can still take God's name. And we wish, is every moment, he said, hey, yeah, that's how I live. And we should not complain about, oh, this place bar. And I, we make all kinds of things as why we should not think about Bhagwan, why we should not do devotion. There's no excuse. We can do it. Take time to remember the law. So do your duty. Ah, do wife to husband, husband to wife, child to parent, prayer to child, perform your duty. Nobody says don't do your duty, do your duty. But with the heart, the mind, the touch, you have to practice that. It's not gonna happen right away. You have to practice. Abhyas, Sri Krishna says, Abhyas to Kaunteya. Chapter 6, verse 35. Constant practice. Detachment. Detachment will come. You don't have to do it. Constant practice. Main thing is constant practice. So, performing our duty. Maya Pitamano Buddhir Mame Vaivasa Sanshaya. The second verse, second line of the same verse, chapter 8, verse 7. Arjun, if your mind and intellect is attached to me like that, all the time, at all places, all the time, you will certainly come to me. You will certainly come to me. All this chanting, the puja, everything we do, is to help to get the mind focused on Bhagwan all the time. As you celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi, Oh, Ganeshi, I want this Ganesh. Are we making demands of Ganeshi? Lots of people are going to temple in Shivratri. Oh, big crowd. Ganesh Chaturthi, big crowd. Leave everything, we have to go. Janamashtami, big crowd. And every other day, okay, we don't, we too busy. Once in a year, once in a way, you want to think about Bhagwan and you make demands. I want this, I want that, I want this. We have no time with him otherwise. And yet we expect him to fulfill our... Somebody's wife is very sick. And pray to Ganesh Ji, hey Ganesh Bhagwan, please save my wife. And if she gets better, I will, Charhawi, I will offer 10 pounds of laddu. 5 kilo laddu, Charhawla. If you believe in Ganesh so much, why don't you offer the laddu before? Pehle chalao. So, and if my wife dies, who's going to stand the loss of this five kilo of, of laddu? This is the kind of faith we have. Eh? This is the kind of faith that we say we believe in God. Even in the world. <coughs> Without first, we don't make demand first. Without making sure, like you go to the bank. We have so much faith in the world. 
We go to the bank. You don't tell the bank, look, make out the slip first that I gave so much money and then I'll give the money. No, the bank clerk says, give the money first. A little hole in the window, give all the money, 10,000, 100,000 rand, give it first. And then the bank clerk makes a deposit slip for the withdrawal and give it to you. Now, supposing the bank clerk would say, which money are you talking about? <laughs> we have no faith. When it comes to Bhagavan, we have no faith. We make all kinds of demand. Whether it's Ganesh, whether it's Sri Krishna, whether it's Sri Ram, the Bhagavan, what Bhagavan? Praise. One thing, how are we going to find Bhagwan? Please, Bhagwan first. Again, let's say the Ramayana. Let's say it. Ram, Siya Ram, Siya Ram, Jai Without love for the Lord. Kiye joy. I mentioned what yoga really means. Ashtana. <coughs> Jap. Doing the name of Lord on the, on the beat. Kiye jog. Jap. Gyan. You can do gyan. Virag. Attachment. Whatever you want. Yag. But if there's no love, no prayer, for Bhagwan name will You don't know, going to find Bhagwan. Millions of times we've taken Bhagwan's name. Pray me, there's no love. I must say, don't do it, do it. Do it. Do the puja. Do the yoga. Do the job. Do everything. Do the brah. But don't forget, pray. Pray. Love. Prabhu Vyapak Sarvatra Samana God, we say God is here, there and everywhere. But when most people believe God is only in the, in, the, in the mandir, in the murti. You go to the mandir, people even say to their children, Hey, don't do anything wrong here. This is Bhagwan's house. And the child takes up to me when I leave the mandir, I will be, I'll do all the wrong I want. And it's going to put it to good use. Why do we, why do we tell, say to the child, don't do anything wrong only in the mandir? Why don't we say don't do anything wrong anywhere at all? Since God is all knowing, all seeing, all pervading, why don't we say that? Because we don't believe too, that's why. We think that the God is only in the mandir, only in the murti. And we leave the mother, no Bhagwan. People, sometimes I've seen in the mandir, people have a meeting. They conduct the meeting in the mandir and they get angry. They, they want to fight. Chalo, let's go in the road. We can't fight here. This is God's house. So in other words, in the road, there's no Bhagwan. Huh? This kind of blind, this kind of, you know, ignorance, we don't have an idea. There's no Bhagwan in the road. The same Bhagwan is in the Murti, in the Mandir, the same Bhagwan is in the road also, 100%. Prabhu Vyapak, God who is, Sarvatra, everywhere. Samana. Samana means equally, 100%. Yes, he's in the Murti. Yes, he's in the Mandir, but he's also in the road. 
He's also in the toilet, also in the Ram Shab, everywhere 100%. There's no place that Bhagwan is not there 100%. And how are we going to find it? Prem Mati Prakat Hoi Mai Jana. Prem, you know what Prem means? Love. Ram Ek Prem Piyara. He loves wanting only Prem, Prem. How much love? Bhagwan is looking. You're taking the name, you're chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Om Namah Shiva, Om, Om Gangana Pate. How much love is he taking my name? Gauran Mahaprabhu said. One minute is finished. We're just looking at the time. Gauran Mahaprabhu said. शिक्षास्त्र इन शिक्षास्त्र गौरा महाप्रभु से हे कृष्ण ओला यू हैव सो मेनी नेम आन काम and you are so merciful, you have taken all the power and put in the name. Nija Sarva Shaktis. You have taken all the power and put in the name. Plus, you have made no rules when it comes to taking the name. Whether you should take a bath or don't take a bath, which direction you should face, what kind of clothes you have to wear. Nothing. No name, no rules. My Lord, your mercy is your grace unto the highest. But my durdaiva, my misfortune is also to the highest that I do not have faith, I do not have love for taking your name. Because we don't have the faith that God is sitting in the name. We like a parrot. Just to finish the job. Like a parrot. No love. एक घड़ी आधो घड़ी आधो पुनी में आध इस द सेम लाइन दैट इफ वी टेक गॉड्स नेम व्हाट वी कैन अटेन एवरीथिंग आर दे लाइन टू अस नो नो सेम लाइन्स नो स्क्रिप्चर बट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इस द राइट वे टू टेक द नेम एंड द रॉंग वे इफ वी टेक द नेम विद द फेट Gauram Mahaprabhu is saying with the faith that God is sitting in the name 100% one name of Bhagwan and you will see him. You want to see Bhagwan? One name with the faith 100% that God and the name is one. That he is sitting in the name you will see Bhagwan. Challenge. We don't have that faith. Ah, we have to practice. So we don't make deal with Bhagwan. If we are deserving Bhagwan will show his grace. Be deserving. Don't make deal. Only if I do this, then you will. If I do, if you bless me like this, I will do this. If you bless me like that, no. Bhagwan, we don't make deal. If we deserve it, Bhagwan will show his grace. He's showing his grace day and night on everyone. All we have to do is become deserving. Is that? There's much, much more, but time is limited, so I will stop here tonight. Holy Gajanan Swami Ki Jai, Vrindavan Bihari Lal Ki Jai, Syavar Ram Chandra Ki Jai, Jai Jai Shri Radhi, Jai Jai Shri Radhi, Jai Jai Shri Radhi. We started a little bit late, so...